Welcome back to the channel. Um, so in this episode here, uh, we're gonna take this uh, pine here. It's a one by six by eight, and we're gonna make a little flag, a Texas flag out of it. Uh, there's quite a few American flags out there, and I made one a, while, a couple weeks back, and uh, there's so many videos out there on how to make the American flag. I thought, I'd try to make the Texas flag, because we're here in Texas. I think there's a couple videos out there online, but uh, I wanna do this one pretty simple. Uh, Kind of make it to where you can make one yourself without having to cut a lot. Uh, I'm going to use the, two, the width of the two boards here without having to rip them down. And uh, so we, should all we need is, uh, all we should need is two boards uh, because the time I rip them down, the, uh, the flag itself is uh, two thirds wide to the, uh, to the length. So, uh, so with these boards here, they're two together are 11 inches. So that's gonna make my top, my flag, it'll make my flag 22 inches tall. So if I do two thirds out, I need to add another 11 inches. So it'd be 33 inches long and 22 inches high. Uh, make it simple like that too. When I glue these up together here, this will be the red stripe and the other two above will be the white stripe. And then the blue portion will be one third of the, the length, so if it's 33 inches long, we divide that by threes, by three, we'll get uh, 11 inches. So our blue stripe's gonna be 11 inches, okay? Get down to the length, it'll be 33 inches. Minwax uh, has it now, tenable stains. Uh, they now have the, the 200 colors you can tint. I don't know what this blue is I got. Um, I think it's just a royal blue and I don't remember. I, I think I asked for a scarlet red or something when I was doing the American flag and I think the guy ended up giving me a barn red or something like that, but it still looks good. Uh, so we'll use those two colors. And then the white up here, we'll just leave, um, just leave the natural wood color, okay? The next step we're going to, before we stain these, uh, we'll want to go ahead and burn them in, burn the grain. So we'll do that next. All right, I find it easier to, to burn with it standing up like this than try to lay it down. Because when you, sometimes you tilt the torch down like that, it does that on you, okay? All right, so the bottom two boards, we're gonna stain the red part right now and then we'll glue it all together and then we'll do the blue. So I'm gonna tape off right here, my two lines I mark. Here on my tape, I'll make sure I brush away from it, not into it. All right, we're gonna get the star taped on here and then I'm gonna take a Exacto knife, cut it out so I actually cut the wood. So that I'm gonna router this one out. You can just tape it off and just leave it flat if you want, but I'm gonna cut it and, and use the router on it. Start, uh, I've got just an eighth inch little uh, router bit in here. So now I set me up a straight edge. I'm just with pine being so soft, it's hard to really hit a soft spot or something in there and your router bit move on you quite a bit. All right guys, we got this flag all done here. <clears throat> Put a couple coats of polyurethane on it and got it finished off. So simple little project that anybody could do. 
do this minimal woodworking tools. You won't need much. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't plane it down or anything like that. Well, all you could, all you need is a handsaw to cut the boards in length, and then, uh, like I said, you can do the star a different way. So I actually engraved this one here and, and did it a little bit. So, uh, all right. So appreciate you watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.